Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm very excited because not only am I going to get to eat, but I'm going to get to try or retry, I should say, some of my favorite childhood snacks, some of which include a new release item, which is backed by popular demand. Yes, I'm talking about the new Hot Cheetos Asteroid Flavor Shots. It's kind of a mouthful. It's, I don't know what they were thinking about, you know, the marketing. But chunthis everywhere are rejoicing and um, the little girl inside me is rejoicing too. Really quickly, I wanna show you a little Asteroids haul because Got a little carried away at the store. Healing. They were supposed to release on the 25th and they were nowhere to be found on the 25th. No stores had them. I called like two different stores. I visited like six different stores and some of them didn't even know that they were gonna get shipped. Like some of, some people just didn't, they just didn't know. So like I was left in the dark for a little bit. I stumbled upon them at my local gas station this morning. I don't know when they're gonna restock. I really truly don't. So I bought five. Okay, and that's that. So I'm gonna taste test those in a minute, but first I wanna indulge in some of my other favorite childhood snacks. We should just get started. <laughs> When I think back on my childhood, there are several things that come to mind. Some not so pleasant, but some that were just fantastic. And those were probably the snacks. Our first snack is one that is close to my heart. One that I would take with me on all of our field trips and, you know, just to the local museums. So, here she is. Lunchables, ladies and gentlemen. So here we have the nacho cheese dip and salsa Lunchables. I remember really liking these because I was obsessed with nachos and cheese. Like you're gonna notice that later on. Um, I know that sounds a little bit weird, but I was literally obsessed with cheese. It's not an exaggeration. Ooh, that salsa smells pretty damn good. Here she is in all her glory. Truth be told, I don't think I ever tried the salsa. Um, I was, like I told you, I was more of a cheese gal. So I'm gonna try the salsa right now. Oh no, I have tried it. Oh my God, that's literally crazy how like, whoa, that's crazy. How like food or smell or like a song can like literally take you back like bit. I went all the way back to elementary school. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Let me try the cheese now. Mmm. Cheese isn't that great. Wait, does it have a kick to it? Kind of has a little kick to it. Hmm. I'm very impressed. I really like this salsa. That salsa is everything. I will return to that after this video moving on so do you guys remember those juices with like the cartoon characters on them it's crazy i remember like going through walmart or going through the gas station and i specifically remember only getting these with my dad and i have very few memories with my dad let me tell you i went through the aisles of walmart and they literally had a couple of disney princesses that i knew but like other than that they're all like new characters new cartoon characters that like weren't from my time and i'm a little sad because i used to get the the ones with the Powerpuff Girls on them. I'll put a picture right here. I used to love those. I always used to come home with like the Bubbles one because <laughs> I love the Powerpuff Girls. So I got Ariel because she was one of the few um, Disney princesses that I knew. She comes in the flavor Fruit Punch. I truly think that this isn't the same company though because this actually looks good. Like it looks like kind of healthy. Um... I don't know, but they were the only ones with like the cartoon heads on them, so. This takes me back, dude. 
This takes me back, bro. It kind of tastes like um, Capri Suns. So that could kind of like be in my mind, but it also doesn't taste like Capri Sun. Like it tastes like something I once knew, you know? A better life, a better life. This is great. I'm gonna like buy these for my nieces and nephew. This is like really good. It's probably really bad for you. Yes, total sugar is 19 grams. That's fine. That's why it tastes so good. That's why it tastes so good. So let's move on. So this next one, it's weird. It's a weird one. And uh, I'm gonna need you not to judge me because I'm aware that it's weird and uh, I'm a little embarrassed. This was at a very young age that I did this. So I'm gonna use that to justify what you're about to see. This next one involves Nesquik, which is great on its own. It's lovely. I always had this stuff in my house. I would take this and use it to enhance the taste of a more healthy snack, if you will, and I would do that by dunking it in Nesquik. Can you guess which item I used to dunk in this? <laughs> wrong, wrong, so wrong. And you'll never guess. So I'm just gonna tell you. Carrots. Carrots. <laughs> Let me tell you my reason behind this. So I remember there was a phase in my life where I used to watch a lot of Bugs Bunny. It was like Looney Tunes and like the baby Looney Tunes. And I was literally obsessed. I went through a whole phase. It was an issue. But I looked up to Mr. Bugs Bunny himself. I knew that every time he ate those carrots and said, what's up doc? He was getting his nutrients. You know, he was being healthy. He was setting an example. And I wanted to be able to chew on a carrot and say, what's up, doc, with ease. Because at that time, carrots, broccoli, spinach, snow peas, cauliflower, it all just um, repulsed me. So <laughs> let me walk you through exactly what I did. First, you take a carrot like so. <laughs> Love that and you peel it and you wash it. <sighs> eh, what's up, Doc? You know what? <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> why does this take me back? <laughs> I don't want to go back. <laughs> me, when I'm like time traveling to the past, like I don't want to go back, I don't want to go back. <laughs> this, I don't even want to say it. Kind of, it's kind of good. I need a little palate cleanser. Okay, so we're almost at the end of the video. These guys are coming up very, very shortly, but first I do have one last snack that I used to get, and this one brings back a lot of memories too. I literally have not had this, probably since the last time I had it when I was like maybe seven years old, and I'm 21 now. So that's, uh, you do the math. <laughs> but for this one, I have to go to the gas station because I would always get this every time my dad was like picking me up from school or whatever the few times that he did. Um, and yeah. So let's go to the gas station, ladies. So I just take these cheesy potato puffs mm -hmm. and I used to put cheese, like nacho cheese in them. And it would be like the best thing ever. I told you I really, really, really love cheese. So it was like a match made in heaven. It was my go-to. So let's go put some cheese in this home. Now. I wanna make sure that it works, because, okay, it works. Because a lot of times, it would literally never work, or it'd be I'm like out of order. Oh, regular hot cheese with cheese, oh my god. I paid 75 cents for this, so I'm gonna get my money's worth. Give it a little shake too. In between layers, like how they layer your popcorn at the movies. 
So I'm back home and I have my cheese puffs here. I'm so excited. It has been really, really long since I've had this. Mm hmm. I remember that. When you wait a little too long and they're kind of soggy, still good though. Mmm. So this was obviously before I entered the world of hot Cheetos. There was a point in my life where I did not eat hot Cheetos because they were too spicy for me and they were for the big kids. So I didn't eat them. What I would eat were these. They're okay. And if I'm being honest here, I probably won't reach for this again. I think I've made you guys wait long enough. It's time for the moment that we've all been waiting for. Hot Cheeto Asteroid Flavor Shots time. I wish this was sponsored, but sadly it's not. Oh my God, I feel like I can remember the scent. So let's see if it smells the same. Wait. Okay, first of all, <laughs> my mood totally shifted. First of all, what the hell is this? They used to be bigger. If you know, you know, but they literally used to be like a ball. This just looks like a freaking mini marshmallow and I'm kind of upset about it, but let's try it anyway. Okay, that makes it a little bit better. All right, oh yeah, that's the same. I just really don't like how small they are. They're priced at like 125 per bag and I low key think that's kind of a rip off. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. Kind of a rip off though. I know a lot of people were angry at the new packaging. I mean, it's not the best, you know? It's nothing compared to the original packaging, but it's less plastic that's wasted and half of y'all don't even know which bin is the recycling one. So listen, don't be so pressed, okay? Don't be so pressed. I'm telling you the flavor's there, but the size and the price and the actual size of the asteroids themselves. But those are all of my favorite childhood snacks. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Also, make sure to turn on my notifications to be notified every single time I upload. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.